Josh, you and your family weren't exactly close, am I right? It's just that I thought it would be nice to have a surprise reunion. But these war dogs didn't see it my way, and they've taken matters into their own hands. They're using them as bait, Cash. Bait! I know! I know! I can hardly believe it myself. Each time they spot you, these war dogs are going to execute one of your beloved family. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of That Guy Chris. We're playing some more manhunt. Things are gonna get fucking crazy because they got my family. You guys know there's nothing more important than family. Oh, I'm gonna lose all my family. <laughs> I wonder if it's like game over. Or if there's a... <clears throat> you know, progress the story, but my character's more. I don't, know, I don't expect it to be multiple endings, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, so... I think whatever kind of happens, happens here with my family. All I know is this game is not very, um... <clears throat> well, no, it's, it's, it's a good stealth game. I shouldn't say it's not a bad stealth game. It's a uh, <clears throat> type of a difficulty curve, if anything. You know, once you learn its mechanics, you can start doing the one-two shovel, sh buckle my boo-boo. But... It is unforgiving. That's the word I was looking for. This game is this system is very unforgiving. It has a certain set of rules and it does it well. And if you don't play along to the beat of the drum, you will get left behind or trampled. Probably both. And that's when a game like this that's like precise in its rule set, you uh you jank it out. Like what I'm doing right now. You just you know, you play the game the way it's meant to be played. Maybe not exactly the way it was meant to be played by the developers, but <clears throat> you find a way to abuse the system of the game and then you work the hell out of it it's gonna be like dropping a buck at 50 paces in and out real fast that's how we're gonna do this guys I'm gonna keep the crowbar because I like the machete as getting the head but <clears throat> honestly with this this uh, crowbar I can use to open up door so like why would I not now, ever. <clears throat> Alright, no one exactly close. Sorry guys, my throat's a bit scratchy here. I done, got just done doing a lot of screaming. If you guys don't know yet, Spookfest 2019 is coming. When I do nothing but horror games. Ooh, wire. Put something in your head. Let's see here. Bro, right, okay. Thank you. So my voice might be a little bit weaker, but that's okay, I'm doing it for you guys. <coughs> oh, I can already hear Jolie's gonna be mad at me. Chris, why don't you play more Manhunt? Fuck those scary games, they're too scary. No, I must, I must play Spook, Spookfest. Spookfest calls to me. I think this will be louder. Okay, nothing. Alright. Yeah, it mixes in with tank controls. You got yourself a pretty, uh, pretty fun time. I don't know who I for- I think we just killed all my family members. Oh, oh man, he's toast. God. Over there. That was bullshit, by the way. So I wonder if I can keep getting caught by the same guy who keeps going off. That was bullshit, and the game knows that was bullshit. Oh, he has a gun. Wow. That's interesting. I if I take that. Oh, it's a blue item. Oh, I don't want to get rid of my blue item. I'll save it here for now. I need, I need my revolver. I need my crowbar, at least. That was not fair. That guy came around the corner. <laughs> so I was talking about this game is uh, very uh, precise in its rule set. If you don't play along, you're gonna get fucking squanched. Move it, Cash. I'm not keeping you alive to sulk in the dark. Shut up. You're not keeping me alive. Oh, that's where he was. Oh, my Uncle Earl. Bro Brother Earl. One of them. Oh, man. That looks so good. His head's gone. 
Well, shit. Tried. What is this, a glass shard? Yeah, I'll keep the wire for now. Come back for that if I need it. It says I need to keep at least two of my four family members alive. That's why I said the objective. So. It is going to be very, very good. That guy heard that from over there. <clears throat> As you guys know, my biggest problem with this game is going around corners. I just kind of what happened. I went down a hallway, and I didn't wasn't like hugging the wall or anything or any, any shadows because it was open area. And that guy just around the corner saw me. Fucking, you got me. You got me, got. I don't have to be quiet. This guy's by himself. I wonder how the revolver would work. I mean, that's could be obviously like a running gun kind of thing, but. Oh shit. And not see that second guy there. Okay. We need to bump up the murder rate here. Come on. Hey. I'm pretty sure that's another family member, right? They didn't show the cutscene question mark? So does that not count? I don't I don't know if that counts. Save at least one of oh one of the four family members. Oh thank god. Because it was two. If it was two, that's pushing a game. That's really pushing. Oh, I could have at least got that guy. It could have been the first one I could have saved. I don't have to worry about saving the other assholes. They never call me. They don't drop me a Facebook message on my birthday. They don't give a shit. I can do this. No, he didn't even hear it. What a jerk. I got a definite contact over here. Oh, War dogs, he's in here, so let's do a sweep. You keep a 360, you won't get the jump off. I'd be done <laughs> with all this shit. Okay, let's see here. I gotta be very, very careful there because there's two guys. I'm assuming my next family member has gotta be close. I haven't shown the, the cutscene of them dying just yet, but I might have got lucky with that last uh, encounter. We'll see here. My one item I was used to throw is fucking gone. I still have the tranquilizer gun, which just knocks him out for a little bit. I could shoot one, run up, and do a stealth kill on him, but I want them to get spaced out a little bit. I don't want them so close to each other. That's exactly what I needed. Okay. Let me back up a little bit more. Dinner time. Where are the other out? Oh, come on. Let's go. Two more. What I'm looking at right now. One, two. I don't see a fan member. I see a guy with the rifle. Far away. Hope he didn't see me. I saw him scope in. That'd be terrifying if he could see me from all the way over there. I don't see another family member, so maybe a little bit further up ahead. This guy over here needs to come down. I think my best bet was to get this guy over here. And the other asshole. He just strafed around that area. Okay. And I gotta go forward. I'm checking it out. Stay in the shadows. That guy with the rifle is going to be my biggest problem because he can, I'm pretty sure he can see way farther. One turn around. You 
ain't never gonna shake me that easily. <laughs> what? Oh, how do you know I was here? That was bullshit. Oh, I'm tracking you. <laughs> oh, she got us two. Great. Well, if you're going by that rule, that's another family member gone. I'm okay. I'm okay. At least I got the other guy out. Gosh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Yep, I know. I don't care. Can't catch me in the gingerbread, man. Okay, so I'm assuming that once I reach the next area, then another family member would be in danger. So I think if I got caught in this one particular area, that family member would have been hurt. So yeah, I fucked up my chances of getting the easiest probably family member rescued, basically, is what I what I understand from all that. Fucking great. How do I know if I did that again in the same spot, he would, he would catch an where I was at. Burke's a better weapon, so it makes more noise. Alright, back to being careful again. That's not a bush I can go into. That's great. That's not a spot I can hide into either. What in the crap? Man. Okay, there's no family member over here. And these areas are pretty opened up then, huh? So, assume the next area is going to be for another family member and be extremely cautious. As usual, I'm always extremely cautious. Come on now. around the corner. I see some darkness here. Got to get a save Uncle Earl, but I'm gonna try to save Aunt Debbie. Yeah, these guys are all packing heat now. No more sticks and stones, right? Shit. Oh, it's snow too. I gotta be careful. Not good. Not good at all. Over there! Shit. <laughs> yep. I know it was snow. Just got it. Get. Get. Yep, don't mind me. Just gonna... Yep. Just, it's fine. Go up there. It's fine. It's fine. It's not really fine, but... <clears throat> Who's the blue one? What does blue mean? Oh! Family member! Shit! Okay, now I gotta be careful. Don't worry, Debbie, I'm coming! I'm coming, girl! I'm coming! I got a better idea. I'm gonna shoot him with the trank, get behind him, and then kill him. Like I was thinking about this doing originally. This is what happens if you don't keep it real. Just turn around for me, bud. There. Man, I forgot how to run because I was so fucking nervous. Worst feeling ever. Wow, they literally have you in your fucking underwear, Auntie Debbie? That's crazy. Do I need a machete to cut you free, or what? No, hold it down. Thank you.
Can I? Here we go. Get out of here. Run as far away as you can. Well, there's my one. The rest of you guys are fucked. Sorry, guys. Unless I can get my other tranquilizer dart gun that has another bullet in it. But I don't really want to run all the way back for one extra shot. And I do want to try that revolver, though. I'm not going to lie. <coughs> I would if I had an extra shot. Or an extra, actual melee weapon I could use besides that, but I need it. They're not crouching here. Good. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. I forgot I can't climb over stuff, so that's that's also fine. Hey, I remember how to sprint again, everybody. this one. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's enough hanging around. Get out there and kill. Calm down, guy. I forgot what your fucking name was. All I know is you're a jerk. Oh, did I circle back around? Interesting. Okay. I'm not supposed to go in the hole that she went into. I didn't think I would. Uh, can I actually not climb over this? I forgot if I can vault over stuff or not. I can see what oh, that's shit. Why not? Okay, well. I guess I'll go down the hole that she came from. Didn't think that'd be a safe place for me to go into. Uh, here we go. Where the hell did she run off? Uh, oh, I always a freaking jump. Okay. Careful, careful. Ooh, a save point. Sweet. There. Careful, careful. Why didn't you hear me? How many guys are in there? You guys having a good old fucking time in there or something, bud? Okay, save point hit. We're gonna take a quick break, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the video of Manhunt. We're gonna continue at the same exact spot, so don't go anywhere. Don't miss a beat. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you guys are, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with a friend. And we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Don't worry, Spookfest 2019 is coming. It's right around the corner, literally like in two days. So stay tuned, guys, and as always, stay beautiful.